and welcome back to my channel, you guys. If you've never been here before, my name's Emery. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's look is just going to be one of those looks that I think is a really great basic look for any woman on the go. Like, not even on the go, just for any women who want to look put together and they want to do some makeup, but they don't want to go crazy and they don't want to show up to the office or go running errands looking like, oh, you put on all that makeup and did all that work just to, you know, just to come to work or just to do errands. And you know what? If you do want to put on a lot of makeup just to do those things, uh, no one should judge you. First of all, I'm definitely not going to judge you because I'm the kind of person that I put on so much makeup just to film a video and then I wipe it all off and go to bed. So, you know, you never know. I just figured this was going to be a really nice everyday look. This is not my everyday makeup routine because I don't really have an everyday makeup routine, but it's just a great basic look for the everyday woman. Like anybody could do this. I mean, it's really, really simple. I think I mentioned it. You could always like take away the foundation and use a BB cream or just use concealer, you know, and go a little bit lighter. Obviously your eyebrows don't have to be this <laughs> like intense and filled in. That's why I didn't film them. But I just think this is a really, really simple look. I only use two colors on my lid, so it's really, really simple. You know, just stick with the basics for a little bit, and that's what this video is all about. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so I already have my face primed and my eyebrows done, and a foundation brush in my hand. I don't know why, I'm just swinging it around. So, oh, that's why, because I'm gonna start with foundation. I'm going to be going in with the NARS Radiant, it's Natural Radiant Long Wear Foundation. Lots of people have been like hyping this up, and so I went ahead and grabbed it, and I'm still testing it, trying to decide if I love it or not, so I don't really know. I'm actually gonna zoom in a little. So I'm still trying to decide like what my overall impression of this is. I kind of have to wear it out like with different makeup and different like techniques, I guess. But how I like to apply it is to do one one pump for one side and then one pump for the other side. And today I'm going for like a really, I still like a decent coverage, but I don't need full coverage on a day-to-day -day basis. So when I'm just going out with friends or like going out to lunch like I am today, I just like something that's still gonna make me look put together, but it's not too much. So there you go, you can see it's not full, full cover. You can still see through to my skin, but it still like gives me something. So just like doing a really light amount of this product, plus not too much comes out with one, with one pump. So that's nice, because you can control it a little bit better. Next I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay Naked Skin Complete Coverage Concealer in Light Neutral. I haven't used this in so long, ever since Tarte Shape Tape pretty much, but every once in a while I still like to come back to it because it gives a little bit more of a natural finish. I can so easily go over, like get heavy handed with the Tarte concealer, so this is like nice if you just don't want that and you don't want to worry about going too deep into it. And I'm not gonna call this like my everyday makeup look just because I don't really have an everyday makeup look. It's always changing and I use different things. Like I don't even know what palette I'm gonna use to be honest, I haven't decided. I just kinda like go with whatever I'm in the mood for at the time. So it's hard for me to know. Then still going in with my favorite Peach Perfect powder. And I'm taking my Luxie 502 brush, just dipping it right in there, shaking it a little bit and patting it out. All right, I'm gonna move on to the eyes. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, so that's the problem. Okay, moving on to eyes, I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe palette. You see it? There it is. I really like this palette. I can do so many looks with it. All right, I'm gonna start with this color right here. And yeah, it's a pretty intense color, but you'll see why I'm starting with it as opposed to like in my crease, like I normally do. I'm just gonna put this all over my lid. It's a nice bright color, which I love. And I'm going all across that lid, inner to outer which I don't normally do. And I'm kind of putting it in the inner corner too to really brighten it up. Then taking my Morphe M573 brush, I'm going to go in with this color right here. It's like the lightest matte brown in the palette. And I'm gonna go right into the crease. I'm just going like full out, outer to inner. Buffing it out into the outer V area. And then kind of coming down on the lid. And the reason why I do it this way is because if I put the lid shade on last, like the really shimmery, sparkly, bright lid color last, it really pops out and it makes the look look more intense than it is. But if I start with it on and then I put my matte shades on it in my crease on top of that and kind of wiggle it around, then the eyeshadow kind of goes away and gets blended out and covered up. And then it's still there, but it's much more subtle. And that's what I like in an everyday look. I still like to have that shimmer up there to open my eyes, but I don't want it to be too intense. So that's where this technique comes in handy. All right, then taking my Morphe E18, it's kind of like a fat pencil brush. I'm gonna take that exact same shade right here all over, and I'm just going to rub this all along my bottom lash line. 
Once I'm done with that lower lash line, I'm just gonna take my MAC Chromographic Pencil and line my waterline. Before I move on to mascara, I like to take just a little bit of powder on a brush like this or any brush and kind of just go underneath it because I don't like it when the eyeshadow trails down too far. I think it makes me look a little bit tired unless I have like a lot of other eyeshadow on and I'm trying to smoke it out. But with this, it's so subtle that it did come down just a little bit. It makes me look a little bit more tired, so I just clean that up a little bit. All right, next we have mascara. I'm going in with the Shock by YSL. This is the best mascara ever. Next for bronzer, I'm going to be using the Milk Chocolate Bronzer by Too Faced. This one is super light and I like that because if I'm having super light eyes, I don't want my bronzer to be different. So I like this because it's nice and light color and I can kind of be heavy handed with it without having to get nervous. Cause like my contour is what gets the darkest fastest. So this color really helps. And then I don't even really try to contour my nose on like days like this. Well, I mean, I guess I don't try, I just do this. Like I wouldn't consider this trying to contour. I just pinch the brush with whatever product is left on there and give it a little rub and call it good. It doesn't really do anything, but it makes me feel better about myself. I'm going to be taking the blush color Exposed by Tarte on a Morphe M500 brush. And this is just like a super, like not dense brush at all. It's barely gonna show any color. It's just gonna give me a nice little wash, which is what I'm looking for. Then to finish everything, I'm just going to pop on my favorite lip gloss right now, which is the ColourPop X Kathleen Lights Lip Gloss in Moonchild. I am still gonna set my eyebrows actually with my Benefit Brow Setter. Still haven't gotten my eyebrows done. It's been like how many weeks now that I've been saying that I need to get them done and I haven't. I'm terrible. Set it all in place. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's one of those things where you're like, oh, I could easily do that. You don't have to be professional to do that because you really don't. It's so easy. I only use two colors on my eyes. The foundation and concealer and bronzer, like you could use any kind you want and you could still use a BB cream or you know, you could just use concealer, kind of whatever you're comfortable with, you can really like tailor it to yourself. This is just, to me, this is taking it down to like the bare necessities, in my opinion, for me. I really like to have foundation just because I have a lot of discoloration on my face. Just having a little something something everywhere is really important to me, so this is just really great for really any woman who is, who is looking to be put together, but doesn't wanna go over the top for like work or going out to lunch with friends, or you know, just running errands on the weekend and you want just a little something something on your face. It's super easy, it's super quick, this probably if I was doing this not filming it it probably would have taken me like 10 minutes oh well other than my eyebrows those take a little bit of longer time but there really isn't anything that's hard about this look if you ask me so I hope you enjoyed it I hope you're inspired to try it it's something super simple and not intimidating in my opinion so give it a try I hope you love it other than that I hope you subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up and comment if you want. I would really appreciate it. You know, you can share it with your friends. You know, give it that like a share on Facebook. It's really nice if you would do that. Anyway, that's all for this video, you guys. Have a great rest of the week. Bye.